What's up guys, your boy Materialistic here today, coming to you with a background tutorial. So, I hope you guys, I hope this helped you guys out really good, and also I got some special guests. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. What's up guys, it's Darby here, uh, I'm a graphic designer, like Materialistic. Um, I'm on the same GFX team, Pro GFX, go check them out, really sick. See you guys. Yeah, so, um, guys, um, I just, yeah, go check them guys out, really good people. Um, I had it, um, channel links in the description after the event, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, get started on this BG. Well, so, what's your first, let's just start off with, let's say, the first thing I like to do in the BG is, um, I just say, what you want to do, if you're making a partner BG or anything else, etc. just, um, let's say, you start with a regular template. Nothing else real, just plain template. So, things I like to do is, um, I like to, um, hold up. I like, I'm going to create a new layer. Then I hit Command D on the Mac. On the Mac is Command D, and you click on the picture on the layer, right here. On the Mac is Command D. On the Windows, I believe is Control D. So next, what you want to do is just um, make sure you click on layer one, and we can just uh, name this. Uh, let's say highlight. Open the eyes. Highlight. And now what you want to do is just take the pen tool, click right here, and then click right here on the corner, and just make a type of slant. It should be slanted. And then you can just go ahead about uh, there. Hold up. One sec. Then you go ahead about and connect it, and then fill it white. Now you should get something like that. Now you can click Command D if you have a Mac, and if you have a Windows PC, a Windows Seven computer, um, just hit Control Control D. So now you want to go to Soft Light. Oh, matter of fact, no. You want to go to opac Opacity. You want to take the Opacity down a little. Low. You should get like a type of gloss, a nice little gloss. As you can see, you get a nice little gloss. And if you want, sorry about that Facebook notification. If you want, you can delete this top if you don't, not the, like just the top I like. If you don't want it up top, well, I'm going to delete it because I don't want it on top. So, go ahead and delete that on top. Now, you want to do the same thing. Just create a new layer. And then put highlight. Number. Right here. So, now you want to hit. Command or Control D if you have Windows, and do the same thing you did to the top. Click right here, and click right here. And you want to make that nice little slant. Make sure it's curved. There you go. Now you bring it up, bring it up. Nice. Now fill path. Okay. Here we go. There we go, then Command D or Control D to take it off. Now you want to take this down. Matter of fact, that's on 9%. You just, you can just click right here and click 9. Now you have the same thing. Now that we have these two, we'll go ahead and um, put these things, in the, uh, these two highlights into a group and name it well, Highlights. Now what you want to do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and drag these out really quickly and then go like that. So it should be like that and then you want to grab the template and drag it in together. So it can be like this. So next thing you do, you got a nice little gloss, nice little gloss. Some people, well, lots of people. They want to know how to do this. Like, if you ever saw anybody make some nice little.
Uh, probably. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, um, what else about? Uh, where was it? Okay. About the highlights. The highlights. Let's go. Okay. So, what you want to do is create a new layer. Then you right click. And then you go ahead and put, uh, go ahead. Uh, you go ahead and put it on three. Soften this down. Make sure, hold on, go back to brush, click right here. Make, hold up. Make sure you want to put it on shape dynamics, transfer. And if I like to do this, you don't have to, I like to add a, a nice little chisel. <laughs> nice little chisel to it. You know? A little jitter. So we have a nice little jitter to it. Not too much. And now you want to do is click pen tool. Um, if you want to, you can use the ruler. Click right there. Go on up the side. Right click stroke path. Now this is the important part. The important part. You want to click simulate pressure right here. Make sure it's brush. Now you should get a nice white line. Now, if you move this. Hold up. What's wrong? What's going on? Hold up. Hold up, Wes. Okay. Straight this time. Here. Uh, white. Straight this over. Where did that white line go? Um, hold on, guys. Um, oh, that's why. Put it on 100. Go ahead. Go back. All right, now you want to turn this opacity. Well, your opacity should already be at 100. Mine wasn't. Right click, stroke path, simulate pressure. Click it. Drag it over. There, pull up. What the heck? Five. Soft round brush. That's it for right now, guys. Right there to right here. Right click, short path. There we go. Now you have it. If you can see that nice little gloss right there. And you can bring, you can also bring it across the middle if you want, right here. Then so you got a nice little line going across. Now let's go ahead. Make this. Go ahead and make this background black. Now you see you can see that. Now we're gonna go back to the template. Let's add a nice white stroke to it. Go ahead, like that. I'm going to change this uh, size down to one and change this opacity down to about 50. Because you don't want to show them too much. Now, you should have a nice regular looking template here. Let's see how many minutes. About eight minutes. I'm going to stop this around 10 minutes, but... Next, um, go to my textures. Textures. Um, you just find this nice texture I like to use. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, um, up, hold up, go back. Might be in this folder. Yeah, here it is. Should be right here in this folder. Okay. Here we go. Drag this to Photoshop. Right here. I like this texture. It should pop up in the background. Just like that. There we go. Just like that. Okay, now we got this. Drag this down to the background. Now we want to make this blend. So that only looks like this right there. So, we want to unrest this. Rest later. 
We're going ahead and go like that. So let's just take these lines down a little bit. They don't want them too bright. And let's take these gloss down a little bit. Because you don't want those too bright on the background. Knees with the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. There we go. Hold up, five. There we go. So we got these. So, um, this is the end of part one, guys. So, um, I'll be doing part two tomorrow. So, I hope this really helps you guys. Peace. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe. It's your boy, Materialistic Deuces.